Spectacular views. I left Terra Cilia this morning. I stayed uh, four or five days, I think. Medieval. Uh, it was really cold. The houses are so, so cold inside. Colder than outside. And uh, my hosts uh, all were sick with cold or COVID, who knows. And I got sick as well uh, yesterday. I started to feel a bit uh, sore throat. So for the next four or five days, I will be a little sick. It always happened when I stopped traveling. What can you do? I was really cold. My hands, you know, I had long johns, pants, uh, merino wool uh, socks, merino t-shirt, uh, merino um, long t-shirt, base layer, uh, mid layer with the hood, shell, um, down jacket, hat, and I was still fucking cold. Anyway, from uh, Eracidia, I will get to Merzuga, which is very touristy. There are uh, dunes, we are in the desert, but it will be a different kind of desert when, uh, when we get to Merzuga because there are uh, sand dunes. Today a bit lazy, transfer day, and the day is coming to an end and I reach uh, the sand. We start to see sand dunes here. I went through half an hour of... Uh, the road was going through s a sand, sandy patches. I just did uh, a good half an hour into sand, quite tough, like this. Oh. According to Komoot, here there is a road. You fool me again, Komoot. You fool me again. Last night before camping, I was able to cross this ocean of uh, sand. According to Komoot, there is a road. Uh. Hey, if you, if you listen to those German cartographers, there is a road. He's in my tracks last night, pushing through the sand. I camped here, and I'm very, very close to these mountains now. That's now my toilet paper. That should be a road that go around, and then I can jump on these mountains, and hopefully there is, it's, it's not sandy going forward. End of the sand. Hopefully. Come out. That's a proper road, a bit sandy but proper, and water. Got a couple of liters of water just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry. Last night was terrible, until one o'clock it was okay. Then uh, when the temperature dropped below zero, it was minus two at 1 a.m. My nose got blocked and also my right ear. So I have a bit of a cold due to my staying in uh, Rachidia. And yeah, my right ear started to hurt. I hope it's just the cold and I'm not getting an infection. Then I fell asleep again in the morning. And uh, yeah, late start. I've lowered the temperature of my tires a lot, around 10 PSI, to roll a little uh, easier on this sand. God bless, two bless. No cow! This aura is expensive. My stats, most people can afford. To the top. No, very good news is the wind. That's uh, dust sand. Strong headwind. 
I'm a bit sheltered now by this little hill. But as soon as I get on top there, I will be blown away. I'm gonna give you a 360 view of the area. Sand dunes there and sand dunes there. This sand is killing me. The sand is filling up there now. In three or four kilometers, I will get to Merzuga. This is all Merzuga. Now, the, my idea was to go and camp at the foot of one of the dunes, but uh, yeah, it's very developed. But it's very, very developed. Every time I stop, there is a 4x4 that comes and tells me if I need a campsite, if I want an hotel, if I want to ride in the dunes. I mean, very, very pushy. The police and a 4x4. I was here a few minutes to take some pictures and two 4x4 four four came to ask me uh, where I'm gonna sleep and also the police show Fuck. Let me do what I want, no? And the guy with the 4x4 four four doesn't want to go away Avoid touristy places like the plague The sun has set But I'm still in a very much populated area. There's lots of people that want me to camp in a free campsite. Free. Hopefully now that I'm leaving all the dwellings, I can find a quiet place where I can uh, camp. I turn left here. Let's see if there is any vehicle coming and don't see anybody. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Looks like nobody's around. And I can camp uh, behind this dune. and I will be hidden from the road. Already here, nobody sees me. But let's go a little bit further, just to make sure. <clears throat> Very peaceful. Sahara Desert. Almost full moon. She died. It's the village where I stop for provision. I continue crossing the desert of Morocco, but I'm following a route that Lorenzo Barone did uh, a few years ago with a fat bike. I don't have a fat bike, only three inches. And uh, he said he was carrying 21 liters of water. I decided with my infinite wisdom that six liters are enough for me. So, yeah. Anyway, if I die of thirst, let's blame uh, Lorenzo. Not sure what's going on there. Probably some mining. I just had uh, lunch with a Berber family. And maybe a Berber omelette was so good. Didn't want anything. I left them a postcard. I think it was like uh, four or five eggs and then they put tomatoes and onion and some herbs. They made a really nice frittata. It was so good. 
It looks a bit sandy over there, but it's okay. It looks sandy over here as well, to be honest. But so far, so good. Beautiful desert mountains. Beautiful. Nice views in the middle of nowhere. There is a, an hotel, kinda, and slash campsite. And you see there are two caravans. I think they are either um, from Spain or France. Now those are big caravans. So they are self-sufficient. They even have shower, toilet. Why would you pay a campsite in the middle of the Sahara Desert? Like, why? I will go another little bit, and maybe a little earlier than yesterday. Yesterday was dark. Those dunes look sweet. Getting closer to the dunes. Tough work. Very tough work. Moon. Sunset. Big dunes, loads of wind, loads of sand. I'm gonna pitch my tent here. Sarah does. Sahara Desert. Another not so good night. The cold has developed very quickly into a chest infection. So, yeah, it wasn't uh, super, super pleasant. It's a pleasant setting though. The dunes, the desert. I had night sweats, so my quilt was soaking, and uh, I'm drying it now. Thank God, cumulus has a uh, hydrophobic tone, so it keeps you warm even uh, when it's wet. It was soaked. Slowly I'm gonna pack up and uh, continue. Hopefully tonight is gonna be a better night. I stopped at the well to have a breakfast. I had some bread, very chewy, little salt, with a, a tablet of chocolate. I think it's the first uh, really flat route I'm doing in, uh, in Morocco. For the most part, I'm always crossing the mountains. Well, it's good, good for a change to follow a flat route. There were bits and pieces of uh, sand I had to push through. I don't have internet connection, but it would be nice to know how far is the next well for the water, for water managing. But I think I shouldn't have problem. Someone did a donut with a four by four here. Giant donut. I want to do one myself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable landscapes, Morocco. Crazy. I think there is an oasis down there. So I might stop and chill there. According to my map, this is called the Oasis Ramilia. Let's see if I can get some eggs and uh, water. Oasis Ramilia. I met Jean-Claude and Nicole from France. And Said is their guide. And uh, they invited me to, to have lunch with them. 
Very good. From Very good. From Tigali. Even today, success, free lunch with the French couple and Sahid. So, mostly due to Sahid that uh, he invited me. And uh, yeah, it was nice. Bit of salad. Another Berber uh, frittata with uh, some beans. It was good. This is fat bike territory. I knew it. I should have not trusted Lorenzo that he did this road with a fat bike. Fucking hell. Thank God it was only two kilometers, Lorenzo. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. My hell of sand. Two meters of sand, yeah. Right. Sand everywhere here. <sighs> two kilometers, Lorenzo, or two days. Maybe, maybe it was me. I heard two kilometers instead of two days of sand. Holy moly. It's beautiful, beautiful. Very beautiful. It looks like sealed dirt, but trust me, it's uh, it's sandy. It's very sandy. Maybe I can ride now. The dunes, the very sandy dunes, are getting far in between. It's still quite sandy, the road, but I think I can ride it. The squeaky noise, I don't know. I try to loop the chain. I think it's the pulleys, but I just changed them in Almeria, I don't know. Maybe I should have put some uh, lube there. I don't know, I have no idea. I'm giving up. This is gonna be a new bike, guys. Still pushing through the sand. <sighs> the day is winding down, sunset almost. Look at the vastity of this place, amazing. Sahara Desert. Battling uh, in the sand still. What can I do? I stop there. You can see my bike. But there is this tree. I'm gonna I'm gonna camp there. It's tough, tough going. Beautiful but tough. And I'm about 20, 25 kilometers away from a village, so tomorrow I can stop there, get some provisions, maybe charge up my batteries. I forgot to charge up my power bank at the during lunch today. And then after that village, there is nothing for about 150 kilometers, which at this low pace, could take me forever. And yeah, this is where I'm gonna spend the night. The guy behind me showed up. In fact, I need to pack up and uh, keep going. Hey, one time, one time I camp a little earlier. I heard, I heard a fucking motorbike. He started to follow my tracks and it shows up here. So now I have to fucking pack up and leave. At least it's full moon. I was able to get out of uh, the very sandy part. Man, so much sand today. Good morning, another terrible night. 
At the end, I slept here. My chest infection is getting worse. I don't know if I have pneumonia. It's uh, it's really bad uh, at night. I get to sleep a few hours when I get into my tent because I'm really tired. And then I, I'm awake most of the night. It's, um, it's really painful. Also in my throat because I, I cough and uh, somehow it destroys my throat. And I, the temperature drops and I feel this, my nose, uh, my sinus, it's, it's terrible. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure what to do because the route I was following go to Tagunit and from there I was going to go to Zagora, which is a bigger city and maybe I can find someone to stay a few days. But at least there I have access to pharmacies, to doctors, if I want to see a doctor. And so to go to Tagunit is about uh, 130, 35 kilometers crossing the desert and then I have another... Uh, about 75 to go to Zagora, or I have the other option to change uh, track uh, when I get to the village and then go directly to Zagora from there and uh, it should be 135 kilometers to Zagora so basically I could get to Zagora two days before I, I planned so I don't know. It's just that even uh, yeah, it'd be nice if there was a warm place I could chill a few days. But even if I go to Zagora and and go to an hotel, it's gonna be cold as fuck, cause the the houses are so cold. So I don't know if I would just need to push through. And continue. I, I I don't know what to do. Look at the view. Sahara Desert. It's a beautiful day to die. There is someone on top of that dune. This guy now is crossing the desert, walking. One, two, three, four, five tents. Six tents. How many tents and four by fours and camper vans. MSR Haba Haba, or free light. Let's go and see if there are some fellow bike travelers. So it turns out it's a rainbow gathering. Uh, yeah, I pitch my thunder. Not sure I have the energy for the rainbow gathering. But yeah, let's see. Maybe I need a day, half a day off. I don't know. There is a, another bike traveler. I know that she's here, but I cannot find her. I don't know where she is. My head is exploding. I don't, I don't really feel well at all. Oh yeah, my tent is there. That tent, the MSR, belongs to a Chinese girl. But she's also traveling by bike, she told me. Just walking around a little bit. I think I found an ancient tool. This was a tool that they probably used to do something. I think it's a tool. I think it's a man-made tool. Let's just sell it. Food at the Rainbow Gallery. Let's go. What a freaky view. Look, the Rainbow Gathering. The dunes up the mountains. 
sunset and the top dune. Look at that. So peaceful. Come on, buddy.